I'm Chris. Welcome to a new episode of OCD Geeks. And I'm Jack. Hi guys, welcome back. How are you doing, Jack? Well, it's fine here, Chris. Pretty warm. What about you? Yeah, I totally understand. I heard even in Canada, temperature raise up up to even 50 degrees in Vancouver area. Since last week, we talk about the latest Pixar movie, Luca. This week as well, we decided to provide you a review. This time, we are going to talk about 2019 Pinocchio. Yes, Matteo Garrone's movie is a beautiful fairy tale drawn uh, from uh, Carlo Collodi's Adventures of Pinocchio, a famous book uh, written in 1883, from which was drawn also an animated movie, which uh, most of us has, has seen. I'm sure you're referring to the Disney animation movie. That's right. In this case, a 2019 Pinocchio is quite different. First of all, it's a movie with actors. It's a darker version of Pinocchio compared to the Disney adaptation. You know, I believe it's more faithful to the original one. If you will watch the movie, you will see the kid taking uh, the role of Pinocchio. Basically, he looks like a good kid. In uh, reality, this was not CGI. It was all makeup. The amount of work and attention to details that the production provide into it, uh, it's outstanding. Yes, I think uh, Federico Yelapi, who is the actor that portrays Pinocchio, did also a great job. Yes, there are in the cast many uh, Tuscan actors that we both know very well, right? Roberto Benigni is one of my favorite artists of all time. He is amazing. So I was super happy to see him in the role of Geppetto, Pinocchio's yes. father. Yes, as well as uh, Massimiliano Ceccherini, that plays uh, the fox. You know, not all actors came from Tuscany. For example, I'm sure you want to give an insight about uh, Il Mangiafuoco. Mangiafuoco has been uh, portrayed by our beloved uh, Gigi Proietti, that has uh, uh, recently passed away. He did uh, really a great job in his last appearance uh, on screen. If you're watching the movie in the original Italian, you can listen to all kinds of Italian accent from the Tuscan one, the Roman. I think for, uh, for a foreign language speaker, it's, it's very curious and interesting to have a look uh, on all the Italian tradition and culture and hear all these Italian dialects. Alex, uh, it's a really well done movie from this perspective. And I believe, you know, there is also an English version as well. So our international listeners might be able to choose between the original Italian and the English one. I'm not sure about the English one since we both saw the original. Anyways, I'm sure it's an amazing adaptation as well. This movie can be seen both by adults and, and children because it's, a, of course, it has a moral perspective, but not only, it has many views many details. Of course, Pinocchio is a fairy tale, so, you know, from the eyes of a kid, you simply enjoy the story, the plot twist, also the jokes. As an adult point of view, you are able to spot many references to life. Me and Jack, we are not focusing so much about the story, because first of all, we are sure that you are familiar with it. If you are not, we don't want to spoil anything, because it's an amazing fairy tale. Yes, and if you didn't, you should, you should watch it, guys. Pinocchio is a kid, but made of wood. He is not so willing to follow rules, and as soon as Geppetto goes away, all kinds of adventures start. We want to stop talking about plot because you just want to experience yourself. Yes, yes, Pinocchio is like most of the children, so doesn't follow the rules and doesn't want to study, unlike our uh, Pixar's Luca that we analyzed in the last episode that he wanted to study so much. Pinocchio, to whom the movie made the reference, uh, doesn't want to go to school. For this reason, he doesn't follow the recommendations of the talking cricket. Uh, he just or, even the, or even the fairy. Yes, that, those are the fairy. Uh, instead, he finds himself uh, stuck uh, hanging around with Il Gatto e la Volpe, the fox uh, and the cat. Pinocchio sees the good in everyone, so he's not so able to separate good and evil. That's why he experiences all kinds of adventures, and not all of them are positive. That's kind of also a pedagogical aspect to it. Yes, that's life. Uh, it has a moral sense and a pedagogic aspect uh, too. 
I think that we could recommend easily to anyone uh, to watch this version of Pinocchio. If you are a parent, you can enjoy with your kids, even though the story sounds a little bit dark, especially if you compare it to Disney adaptation. Of the so I think we should tell our listeners to, to let us know if they watch the movie and uh, write the comments on, uh, on our site www.ocdgeeks.me If you want to chat with us directly, you can simply send us a message on our Instagram pages chris.ocdgeeks and jack.ocdgeeks We also have a Discord server as well, the name is ocdgeeks So, I think that's all for today, right Chris? Shall we agree to our sentence? which is quite famous by now. Yeah, totally. Let them talk about freaks. We stay tuned on OCD Geeks.